Here's Mr. John. You know, Mr. Lewis, I've been thinking. Really, Wendy? You must be tired. You want to sit down for a while? <laughs> you silly. You know, back home in Alabaster, Alabama, we had us a surefire remedy for them black eyes. What you do? This is Wendy Holcomb, a teenager who's made it to Hollywood and is starring in the new hit TV series, Lewis and Clark. She's 18 years old and just starting her acting career. But she's been performing country music in front of audiences for the past six years. Now, how did she get started so young and how did she get to Hollywood at this age? Well, this isn't your normal rise to stardom. Her success unfolds more like a fairy tale of a certain little girl who was granted one wish that came true. It began when Wendy asked her father to take her to Nashville to see the Grand Ole Opry for her 12th birthday. All the seats were sold out and they couldn't get in. So to pacify his crying child, he took her into this music store to look at her favorite instrument, the banjo. Well, I sat down because I was afraid to stand up and pick it. I was afraid I'd drop it. And just, I was just sitting here having fun with it because I knew we weren't going to get to go to the Opry. And my daddy had got a guitar down. He played rhythm guitar and was sitting and picking for me. And I was just... Just sitting here pretending it was all mine. <laughs> Wendy had only been playing the banjo for five weeks and was practicing on this new one when a member of a group who was playing at the Opry began talking with her father. And he said, well, is she in town to do a show or to play the Opry or something like that? You know, and that was enough to stop me. And I said, goodness gracious, no, sir, we can't even, you know, get tickets to the Opry, you know, much less pick on the Opry. And kept picking around and all. And he said, well, I can't get you tickets to the Opry, but I'm playing on the Opry. I can get you in backstage. Once backstage, Wendy really began charming the other stars with her personality and banjo picking. She was such a hit that within a few weeks, she was making her first appearance on TV. And so it's like a Cinderella dream that I'm still waiting on to wake up from. Life at home on the farm in Alabaster, Alabama was typical and very family oriented. Chores and homework came first. But dancing lessons and Wendy's growing love for banjo picking soon forced a difficult decision. I had to give up one of them, you know, one or the other, because it got to where my picking wasn't real good and neither was my dancing. So I gave up the dancing and the cheerleading all because I thought, well, at 55, you know, what will I be doing if I still doing cheerleading and taking dancing? And I thought, now, 55, if I was picking, what would I be doing? And I thought, I'd probably be playing the Opry. I'll take the picking. The picking soon led to touring, complete with mom backstage and dad and brother Muley on stage. Wendy has her own band and travels six months out of the year. She's performed in every state in the Union except Alaska and Hawaii, but still finds time for an active social life. I date a whole bunch of different boys. Don't like to settle down to just one because I travel so much and all. Growing up and leaving home hasn't changed the important things, according to a friend who's known Wendy since she was 12, road manager Tina Clower. She has always been a charmer. She will sit at the uh, end of the show and she will sign every autograph until you know whether it be her picture or whether it be a little scrap piece of paper she'll talk to all the you know she's just a charmer and she's and everybody just loves her to death Tandy Rice has been Wendy's manager since her pigtail days and he's had some experience bringing new talent to Hollywood I took Dolly Parton to Hollywood about uh, 10 years ago and I saw people like John Wayne Red Fox people of this ilk go crazy over Dolly Parton and I have since seen the exact same phenomenon with Wendy Holcomb out there. I think what people see in her is a, this is crazy, and I'm glad to go on record as saying this though, a country music Marilyn Monroe. I had a phone call one day from Fred Silverman's office and they said, Mr. Rice, uh, we are uh, aware of your client Wendy Holcomb, we're impressed with her, we want you and Wendy to fly to Hollywood. Two days later, NBC signed a contract with Wendy, and she shot a pilot for a TV series called Wendy Hooper, U.S. Army. The network didn't like the pilot, but they did like Wendy, and now she co-stars on the hit Western comedy series, Lewis and Clark, with Gabe Kaplan. He's sort of like a drugstore cowboy, as we call him. Not, they really don't look like a cowboy, but they're trying to be one, you know. And he's trying to run this club, and I'm a waitress there, because the reason that I'm working there is Every once in a while, Willie Nelson and Mr. Waylon Jennings, some of those come in and pick, and I'm sort of auditioning for them and wanting to get to the Opry, and I think this is my way to do it. 
Her role as a would-be opera singer named Wendy from Alabaster, Alabama, reflects real life in more ways than one. And she even helps out with some of the script writing. Like they'll say, we need for you to talk about cooking for 15 seconds. So you tell us anything and everything you know till we, till we stop you. You know, I'll go rattling off crackling cornbread, black eyed peas, and turnip greens, and you know, onion about the size of your fist, and this and that. And they'll say, okay. And they'll take my words and write it out in a little different way and say, now, this is what we want you to say. That way it's got the super dino whopping and the, and the little extra things that they've never heard of that we've always said all our lives. So I'm going to practically write it. There's no doubt about it. Wendy Holcomb has come a long way in 18 years, and her star is still rising. But at heart, she's still an Alabama farm girl and plans to stay that way. Mom and Daddy says I've lost my accent a lot, that I don't talk as country as I used to. But out there in California, they say I'm the more countryer than Loretta Lynn. You know, but I'm proud of it when they say something like that.